So, did you tell me we're coming? Yeah, I did. Do you want to time how long it takes him to make a sex reference? Sure. Did you tell Maddie about... About... About deciding to move away. To come work on the film? I haven't decided on anything. I'm sorry. I assume... Yeah, sorry, I just... I'll tell him we're here. Sent. Fucking hell! I'm sitting shotgun. Why? Why so confrontational? You can get your goose gulp from Noel when I'm not in the car, but I prefer to not have a distracted driver when I'm in the vehicle. Just to clarify, getting your goose gulp to me is that you're coming in, right? Correct. Okay. So how long did that take? We didn't have time to start the timer. Give that sexy little ass a scooch, Noel. That one took around three seconds since the last. So, what should we do today? Well, we were thinking that- Cause I got a great idea. Oh. And your idea is? We gotta get high! but only enough to cause self-harm. I'm not getting high with you, Maddie. Why not? First of all, I've never been high in my life. Second of all, I have no intention of ever getting high in my life. And third of all, if I were to get high, I wouldn't trust you to give me drugs that wouldn't be laced with something that turned me into a mewing. Well, they wouldn't be my drugs. What do you mean? I got a guy. What guy? Oh, you know the guy. Oh, that guy. Yeah. Nope, not doing it. Why not? He got that reaction out of no. I want no part of him. Oh, come on. Noel's only reacting like that because I replaced his secret stash of gooshers with weed gummies, and he woke up the next morning wearing that guy's underwear with him half naked in the bed. That's a very valid reason for him to react like that, Maddie. Hey, it was April 1st. No, it wasn't. So I got the dates mixed up. It doesn't matter. He's not like that anymore. He went to therapy. He's not the one who needed to go. Plus, we'd only be picking shit up from him anyway. You guys don't even have to talk to him. Come on. Noel? Well, we only have one life to live, and anything could happen tomorrow. Wouldn't want to miss out on any opportunities we have today. Right, Lee? Right. Let's go get your fucking drugs. Yeah! Okay, so what exactly are we getting from this guy? The Maddie special. What the fuck is that? That's not important. It is important. It is the important. Okay, just know it does what all good drugs do. And what is that? I don't know, discover truths about yourself and take you on an emotional roller coaster that allows you to see reality as clearly as possible. This guy acts like he's never done drugs before. We just trust. It's not gonna get that crazy. You trust? I... <gasps> He's here! You know, I'm not trying to separate you from Maddie. You'll still be able to hang out with him and stuff. I'll be in a different state. You'll still be in contact with him. You don't have to cut him off for me. I wouldn't be cutting him off for you. I'd be doing it... It's not just your career that I'm helping you with. It's mine too. No, I know. It's just... Wait. They're actually... Gooshers? Fuck yeah. These would probably be great to take before fucking if I could ever feel a woman's touch. Time to overdose. So is it safe for me to drive back home now, or...? It'll kick in. Trust me. It'll kick in. Holy shit! So... 
How you guys feeling? Hi. Lee? I feel like I discovered the meaning of life, yet it doesn't matter. Something I've always been looking forward to find out my whole life. Yet, the discovery has led me to such great disappointment. It's hilarious, yet I'm not laughing. How can everything simultaneously be a joke with only me as the punchline? Is it because it was only me who thought there was more to my life than what was in front of me? Or is it because... Okay, that's great. How are you? I'm, um... I don't know. Shit just has to change for no reason. It's like everything's perfect. And shit just has to keep going, try to make the perfect shit better. And then it gets worse. Everyone wants more like what they have isn't enough. Am I enough? I didn't kill myself because of you, dumbass. Dad? What? Nothing. Do you guys hate me? What? Why did you say that? I don't know, I just feel like I'm being left behind by everyone. I feel like everyone thinks of me as... What are those things on boats? Anchors? Yeah, it... How'd you know what I was talking about? Lucky guess? Whatever. I feel like everyone thinks of me as like an anchor they gotta untie themselves from. Like... They're sinking if they're with me, and I'm not trying to do that. I'm just trying to float. Well, I want to think of it like that. What do you mean? I think you're more like a chastity cage. Oh, and you're like the dick. Yeah, exactly. Like, you're the dick within the chastity cage. Yep. The good, abstinent Christian penis inside its itty bitty chastity cage. We didn't have to bring religion into this, but sure. So I'm like the chastity cage, right? And you're like the penis and you're trying to get that quick nut, right? But I'm the shell to your nut that won't crack open. I thought we were going with the dick analogy. We were, but... As usual. Well, we were, but we can have two. We're advanced thinkers. Oh, right. Yes, very intellectual. Okay, shoot. What were you saying? Shoot. You mean nut? I thought nut was a noun in this analogy. Oh, I was going back to the first analogy, like nutting out your penis. I guess it could mean both, since people also call sperm a nut. What? Like, if you were to nut on the kitchen floor after eating a nut, the nut would be on the kitchen floor. Not nuts, but nut. Exactly. You can nut a nut. <laughs> I want to nut one all over you, baby. Well, my point is... What was my point? Dick. Oh, right. It wasn't my point. It was yours. Go ahead, nut. What were you saying? All I'm saying is, is that you're the penis. That's what I was saying, but okay. And I'm the chastity cage. And you're like this close to nutting your nut. This close. And I pull out my chastity finger and I'm like, shh, 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 shh. my penis? Yes. Okay, I'll accept it. Do I understand your point now? Yeah, I think so. Good, I'm glad. Lee, what are your thoughts on that? I don't fucking know. What was that? I said I don't fucking know. Just go back to talking about dick and pussy or whatever you guys do when I'm not around. Oh, we'll do it when you're around and we don't give a nut what you think. I mean, we can at least tone it down when he's here. Okay, no, but anyways, I want to know what his thoughts are. I want him to join in. Join in on what? Join in on the fun. On fun in general. Why are you against having fun? You and I don't think the same things are fun, Maddie. Oh my god, just answer the fucking question. What are your thoughts on that leap? I think you need to stop being a fucking pussy and grow up finally. Those are my thoughts. You always give Noel the same speech about how bad he should feel about not wanting to hang out with you and tuck in your bed every night. I might not be here for every single one of them, but I know. Let me tell you a little secret about life. People find out more about themselves as they get older and start to find new people that line up with that new version of themselves. Of course you're going to have more friends when you're younger because you're defined by less. The problem with you is that you don't want to grow because you're so scared of the slightest bit of discomfort that you can't even go to therapy to solve your daddy issues. 
you're an asshole. Not because you're stunted, but because you want to stop other people from growing just so you can feel a little bit more comfortable down there. That's why I hate you, Maddie. Well, what? Respond. Call me a fucking cock connoisseur or some shit. Just stop staring at me. <laughs> Do you know how fucking annoying it is to be told to get over your trauma from someone who hasn't gone through the same shit as you? Better yet, from people who aren't you? Even if someone who meant more to you than anyone in the world, someone who meant more to you than your own best friend killed themselves and you're the one who discovered the body when you came home from school, you still wouldn't get to judge me. Because you don't know what the fuck I think and you don't know what the fuck I value. And just because you could throw a friendship away doesn't mean I can give people up that easily. Our friendship? We're only friends because Noel's the only one who brings us together. Now that's how it is, but it wasn't always. Do you want to be friends again or something? What the fuck? You think we could be friends again? No. Isn't there something you'd like to tell Maddie before we end this shit show of a night? I... I got offered to work on a feature film with Lee. What? What I said. You serious? Yeah. Well, congratulations, my boy's a fucking director now. <laughs> well... I'm not going to be the one directing it, but... You're right. You're going to be too busy having relations with Carrie Love behind the scenes. It's not that type of movie, and... Wouldn't that be in front of the scenes? In the scenes? She's a porn star, so... Hey, stop changing the subject, man! This is fucking cool! So, uh, where are you guys feeling it? Back to school? I mean, I know I kind of fucked things up the last time, but it'd still be cool to be a part of it, you know? Like, I could be an extra. I promise not to pretend to be sucking dick in the background. <laughs> It's, uh, it's not at the school. Oh, well, wherever. It's, uh, out of town. In a different state. For a long time. You guys do hate me. <laughs> we just generally talk about the word nut as a homonym, Maddie. I don't care what that word means. I'm above this joke. What joke? Homonym? Above a joke. You weren't going to tell me that you were leaving? Were you going to tell me when you were on the plane? When you were already there? It's not that long of a trip, and of course I was going to tell you. I just... I didn't know how. Look, I don't want to hurt you, Maddie. I feel a butt coming and not the... You know... This could change everything. Why do you want to change everything? Why do you want to leave me so bad? I don't want to leave you, and I don't want to stay with anybody. I want to do what I want to do and know that I have friends who want that for me. If Lee and I have the same interests right now, that's just... the way shit is. Why do you want me to stay so bad? Why can't I go off and do my own thing? I'm not saying we're done being friends or anything. You're the only person I could be friends with. And I don't want to be alone, no. You said that same thing my whole life to guilt me into living your life. Maddie, wait! Go after him. I know you want to. Maddie! What, you're gonna tell me that you didn't mean anything you said? I didn't mean for it to come out like that. No, I'm done with people dancing around telling me how fucking sad my life is. You already think that I'm pathetic? Fine, I'll just say it. You need to make a decision, me or him. Maddie, we're not in a relationship. I'm not trying to be funny, Noel. And I'm not trying to make either one of your decisions.
I'm trying to make my own. No, I'm not. Go. You stop talking, but I keep up the conversation. You insist I'm faking, this is not imagination. You don't gotta leave when it's real to me. Your memory depends on my memory. But I'm the one alone, you expected me to move on. How am I supposed to be happy that you're gone? So I won't stop singing the song. I won't stop. Sky so cloudy, still clap my sights. No glancing back, no time to rewind. Sunshine so shy at night. But it's better than brighter on the other. Sky so cloudy, still clap my sights. No glancing back, no time to rewind. Sunshine so shy at night, but it's better than brighter on the other side.